You are my partner. And I wouldn't do anything to help you. Yeah, I know. No, you keep them. They might be just as a souvenir. Thanks. Castro! Yes, they are. Tend into women. Uh, very well. How'd you do? Well, you, uh, you are the young lady my very good friend Marcel sent from New Orleans. But hmm? I... Sorry, big shot, but your guess is out of whack. What? Yeah. This is the man who sent for me. Hmm. Ah. That must be your guy. Yeah. Dave. Yeah. Come sit back your picture to Lotta Grasso. I'm not interested. Uh, if it's okay with you, she can take the next boat back and you can collect a bet. But Dave. It's worth a thousand bucks to have the distinction of sending one of them back without a wedding ring. Say. Does he mean he doesn't want to marry her? Well, it is unfortunate he is so stupid. What, you would be my guest until the next boat to Portega? I don't want to wait until the next boat. I want to go now, if, if he doesn't want me. Dave, why don't you take a look at her? Well, he said it. There is no other boat for a month. But until then, my house is your house. Brownie, take the lady's baggage to the castle. Hey, wait a minute, Vaughn. I've changed my mind. Brownie, take her home. Tell Doc to dust off the prayer book. Yeah. Hey, I got a note for you, teacher. Ah, Marcel has the taste of a baboon. You go back in the next boat. Oh, yeah? Well, that don't hurt my feelings none, big boy. But in the meantime, where do I park the body? Castro will take care of you when he comes back. Now, rouse me, dear. Hmm. Unless that's a dirty crack. You mean get out? Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to be sure. Ron changes his mind, and von Luden pays the bet. With my compliments. Thanks. Have a drink. Yeah, ja, danke. Oh, I must tell you about my plan. You don't think that my partner and my friend could get married without von Luden making it a big event here in Lotta Grasso? Yeah. Lotta Grasso needs to be impressed. Yeah. Well, look. Tonight at my place, we have two weddings. All of them. The generals and Joes and Phils and yours. And then we have a big party and a fine piece, yeah? Okay. But your generosity is killing me. Yeah. To the brides. To the brides. Bless them and heaven help them. Yeah. For the love of Pete. Like it? It's real. And suffering cats look at the headlights. But how in the world do you suppose he managed these things here in the wilderness? He? Oh, you mean your oncoming spouse. Uh, what's his name? Hart? Dave Hart? Uh-huh. 
I haven't seen him, though, since down at the bar this afternoon. Mm. A native who almost frightened me out of my wits popped in the minute Brownie left, planted a box with this dress and things in my lap, and ran out without a word. Well, hmm. not a bad joint you fell into. Wait till you get a load of the cannibals' garage they parked me in. Garage? Yeah, with a medicine man on one side of me and the local stockyard on the other. Stockyard? Yeah, oxes, gold. <laughs> oh, I guess I can stand it till the next boat gets in. Then when Luden is going to let you go? Sure. He took one look at my pan and my bunion. Between the two, they turned the trick. Oh, Mame, I can never tell you. Hey, cut that Mame stuff. That's your money, Canal, whether you like it or not, see? Well, 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 if we ain't got visitors. Hello. Say, he ain't deaf and dumb because I heard him myself this afternoon. Oh, he just got a lot on his mind. I bet. Gee, you look swell. And you ain't so bad either. Yeah, and I see you got your laundry back. <laughs> you like it? Why not? Coming to Vaughn's party, ain't you? A party? Sure, at Vaughn's castle. Say, when you get a look at this joint? I'll bet it costs a quarter of a million to transplant the Louis chairs and junk down here in no man's land. Oh, so he's a moated millionaire. And he really knows how to throw a party? Well, anyhow, we call them parties before the fight starts. Try and keep me away. With a champagne leather pusher for a partner. You mean the big boss passed up your ticket? Sure. I'm just the babe in the woods. I want to thank you for reconsidering this afternoon. Yeah? And for sending all these lovely things, this dress and the necklace and... You can say that for Von Luden. Flatters his ego to furnish the costumes for the brides. And among other things, he considers himself quite a connoisseur of feminine weaknesses. Would you prefer that I didn't wear them? Suit yourself. They represent what you came for, don't they? Now what? Don't tell me you're battling before you tie the knot. Here. Take them away. Wear them yourself. Do anything you want with them. Why, with pleasure, dearie. But I'll show him what he's marrying. Imagine that one being shocked. Oh, get back in line, you big slug. Oh, uh, pipe down, you. What's the... Uh, hey, 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 come on, now, listen. We came here for fun. We didn't come here to fight. I want to go home. That's a great idea, Bill. Well, let's look at She started it. She shouldn't do that. Oh, she no, gets in my head. Well, now, we're... You think, Doc, wait a minute, you think a man should ever get married? Uh, well, uh, it all depends. Goodbye, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. 
You think you trick von Luden, huh? What's your idea? The kid's on the spot with Bob. She's on the left of you, dummy. She's your wife. Who? Mary! Oh, Mary! She's up there in the bedroom. Mary! 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 Open this door. Round. I sucked some. Yeah. Rock. Come on, get up here. Hey, get what? on your feet. What's that? What's that? Come here. 